Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, all of that juicy goodness. We are going to touch on the topic of manifesting and how we can make it as effortless as possible. So one of the first things that I learned when I manifested $30,000 was the day before and the day after, right? So the day before I got my $30,000 and the day after, I felt the exact same way. You know, that's so unique, right? Because you would think I would be on some sort of high or some sort of excitement the day after. But I was already in this vibration that I knew that I was abundant. I knew that there was money available to me all the time. And, you know, I could get that 30 or I could not get it, but I was even no matter what. So when we're learning to manifest, and honestly, we're manifesting in every second. We're manifesting thoughts. We're manifesting things, experiences. So our intention is, you know, what do we really want to call in? Because we're calling in things every single second. So how do we get into this mode of calling in big things? And the first step is understanding they're not big things. We're okay the day before. We're okay the day after. We're, we're just like, our life doesn't change because we're already the person that has the thing. We are already in the vibration of our desire and that will not change our vibration once we get it. So my question to you is, are you in the vibration of the thing that you want? What does that vibration feel like? What does it look like? I mean, most of the people on my channel are looking to manifest love or money. Those are the two things. And they have this core belief that both of those things will bring them happiness. But remember what I just said? I felt the same way the day before as the day after. It didn't change me. It didn't make me feel better because I already feel good. I feel amazing in my life with or without those things. And when you can get to that belief system that it's not going to make you happier, because a lot of times people, when they receive money, <laughs> they, it actually draws up more fear because that now they have more decisions to make. But a person who's on a manifesting journey and it's effortless and it's fun, they will see more money as, ooh, I have more options. Not, oh, I'm going to have to make so many more decisions. No, it's I have more options. I can do this with my money. I can do that. And in that thought, I just had this quick little thought like, and there's more coming. Who's to say that you manifest a million dollars? Who's to say that's your last time manifesting that? You could manifest more and more and more. And a lot of times people think, you know, that getting their bank account to a certain number is the key, is the answer. It's the purpose. It's not. You could manifest a trip to Paris. That could be worth, you know, thousands of dollars. You know, it's the same as somebody handing you thousands of dollars. But it's all about what do you want to experience and go further. OK, so right now, if you're thinking about manifesting something, take it a step further. You have the thing. What are you going to do with it? How are you going to enjoy your life more when you have that thing? And really plan it out in your journal. Write down what you're going to do with the money, with the person, with the job, with the career, with the business idea. How are you going to make the world better with it? Because your universal flow of abundance will come like a waterfall when you have a plan, when you know what you want to do with it to help yourself and to help the world and to help our planet. And manifesting effortlessly is understanding all of this before it arrives. You can't just journal, I want a million dollars and expect it to arrive in your bank account. Some people have the luck and that happens, but if you want to get your vibration in alignment to where when you get the money, well, you want to get yourself into a vibration of having the money before it arrives so that when you get the money, you're even keeled and you're not going to panic and get into a fear-based state and start to think, oh my gosh, am I going to lose this money? What if I make this wrong choice? You're going to get it and say, yeah, I knew this was always coming now. Continue to have all of these options. Where do I want to go next? What do I want to do? What do I want to create? So right now, if you're awaiting your manifestation. You are not waiting. We are living our life. We're feeling abundant. We are already thinking, what do I want to do? 
because that's what people do when they have it is they're planning and trying to figure out how they can do good in the world. And if it's a specific person that you want to manifest, start planning out the dates that you want to go on, start maybe make a jar and put a bunch of little pieces of paper in it and write on little date ideas so that when you guys get bored, because love takes work, you have to work at love. When you guys get a little stagnant and stale in your relationship, you pull a little piece of paper out of that jar and you go and do that date. But start living as if you have it. You want your vibration to be at that state of somebody that has that thing so that when it falls into your reality, when you call it in, because you will, because you're magical, your vibration's not going to change because you're already here. But if you're down here in this lack state, when's it coming? I don't know when it's going to come. It's never going to come. Oh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You're not up here. So you have to get into the state of, yeah, I woke up this morning, the money's in the account. What do I want to do today? How can I make the world better? What do I want to create? How can I make this money expand and grow? How can I add value to the world? And to get moving up in that direction, it's feeling good in every single second of every day. You're doing the dishes. How do I feel right now? You're cozied up on the couch. Oh, do I love the way my feet feel on this couch? Do I love the way this pillow feels underneath my hands? You're savoring every single moment and you're finding gratitude. So imagine right now, I want you all to close your eyes and you are in the most luxurious home. You have everything you need. You have an endless supply of cash in a closet and in your bank account. You have a warm bed. You have heated bathroom floors. You walk into your kitchen and you just like drop to your knees because it is stunning. There's warm food cooking and it smells so good. You look in the backyard and you have a beautiful garden with abundant fruits and vegetables. You have wonderful family laughing in the living room and you just have all of these wonderful things. Start living today in the environment that you're in as if you're feeling that way. You're walking into your small little one bedroom apartment that doesn't have all those things, but you're loving your couch. You're loving your kitchen table. You're loving your forks and knives. <laughs> you're loving your warm water in the shower. That's the vibration you need to be in. And then when you get into that good feeling state and you're like, yeah, I'm living my life like I'm a millionaire, even though being a millionaire doesn't make me a good person, being a good person makes you a good person. But being somebody who has money, has opportunities, you have choices to do things to better our planet and to serve with your mission. Okay, so I hope this video helped you. If you want to manifest effortlessly, we have to change our core beliefs. We have to see that the money and the person is not going to make us happy. We have to be happy before it arrives because that vibration is what attracts it to us. That is the most important part of this video. Remember, I was fine before the 30,000 and I was exactly the same after because I was already on that level. I was already feeling so grateful in my life. And I already felt like I could do whatever I needed to do with that money. All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Comment below and tell me what you're looking to call in. And I will send you my extra juice to help you manifest that. All right, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.